Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studios. Today is Saturday, April 16th, which means it's time for another weekly shop update. So what's been going on in the shop this week? Well, I started work on the uh, table, the Nakashima inspired dining table. Um, last week I put out a video which I'll have a link for right over here as well as in the description for this where I gave a tour of my table, the features, and uh, basically showing you what I'm going to be building for this project. So that went out, that was great, got a great reception, thank you so much everybody. And as soon as I finished editing that video, put it up, I started working here in the shop. So what I've been working on is breaking down parts. So the first thing I did was I took out my piece of 12 quarter inch walnut and I marked out where I wanted all of my parts. The trestle, the feet, and then the table support that's the top of the leg. And once I had all those guys marked out, it was time to break everything down. At the bandsaw, I broke that board down to its smaller parts, and I let everything sit for a couple of days. And I came back and I started milling everything up. And I let that sit for a couple of days, and I did a final milling again, and got them the correct thickness, width, and length. And now let me talk about the lengths here. So these guys here, the feet, they're 24 inches long. Like, I know what that is. But what I don't know is what these guys need to be as far as length. So I have the boards back here for the tabletop and they're going to dictate how long this piece is. So I made it extra long. Um, this guy is I think sitting at 35 inches right now. Um, I don't believe that the tabletop is going to be sitting around 35 at all. Probably somewhere closer to 30 or 32. And that way I just have a little bit extra room. Plus, these guys end just before the edges of the tabletop anyway. So I got some room to cut these guys down. Now, um, with these guys, as I said, they're 24 inches long. And in order to start doing the joinery and all these pieces after I've sized them, I got to make some jigs. So here are the jigs that I made. These are router jigs. And um, the purpose of these is to be able to come in here and uh, do the bridal joinery that I need to do. So half of it at least, which is the half that happens on the part. To make this jig, I ripped some half inch plywood into strips. So I made those guys nice and wide at four inches. And I also cut another strip an inch and a half wide. And that thinner strip is what's going to be the fences for all of these. And I cross cut these guys to length. And then over at the assembly table, I built the top section of my jigs by gluing the plywood together. And that's this section right here. Once this was all glued up, then I can come and put the fences on. Now the fences uh, change positions. This fence sits back farther than this fence. This fence is actually um, just a little bit, well it's flush now, but it's a little bit over flush uh, when I actually put it on. So it's inside of the uh, what will be the mortise so to speak. For this guy, this fence is set back so that every time I reference it against my uh, feet, I have the, um, the correct amount of material I want below here. So, um, but there's a combination of using this jig and this jig to cut the feet. For the, um, the upper supports, it's just the jig with the fence that's just, uh, now it's flush now that I've removed some material. And um, this here is just two pass-throughs, so the, uh, the bridle joint will just go right over it. Um, a little bit different here, this thing's gonna bottom out here instead. So just a little bit different, because uh, we're gonna cut some feet, have a little bit of an angle up here, uh, remove a little bit of material, and come down. So it's a really, there's a gentle curve underneath as well as the much more stronger, um, I don't know about curve, but just a little bit of an arc. And up here is a very uh, strong angle here. Um, so I need a little bit of room on the bottom. So what's great about these jigs is since if your stuff is all nice and square when you make them, they're nice and square when you use them on all these pieces. So I'm able to take the jigs and follow them around 
the three sides of the feet, line everything up, and remove the waist with my router. Now I'm only cutting about a quarter of an inch deep here. And before I cut everything, I actually took a marking knife and I marked out all the way around so I can line everything up at each of the three steps that it takes to remove material for the feet. And that's pretty much where I am right now. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna to start work on milling up the large posts that connect these two pieces, the feet and these uh, upper supports. So my question of the week to you guys is this. Um, have you ever made some kind of a template like this before or any type of a router template to help you out in the shop with a particular function or uh, thing you need to execute on a furniture build? So that's pretty much it for this week here in the shop. Oh, before I forget, uh, Matt Cremota and myself released a brand new episode of the Matt and Matthew Show. Uh, I'll have a link for that up here as well as in the description for this video. And that is again with Chris Vesper and it's a little tour of his shop. Now, if you didn't know already, he's bought a factory maybe like a month, two months ago or so. So the shop that he's in is getting moved to a whole new facility, much larger. But it's a pretty good look at what it takes to make the tools or the tools that he has to make the tools that he makes for us. So that's it. As always, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share in your timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page. And as always, have a great week in the shop. Matthew Moore's MM Wood Studio. Today is Saturday, April 9th, 16th. Ah! Try it again.